All right, so one more time. Good evening. And um, today we are doing financial education. So what I was saying is this. Why is it that a lot of people do not manage to make it successful and rich, even though they want to? All right? They have expressed willingness that they'd like to be successful. And, and I've never met anybody that says he doesn't want to be successful. Right? Now, if I open up this, this chat group and say, okay, tell me why people want to be successful, people want to be wealthy, but they are not wealthy. If I ask you that question, I'm going to see lots of responses, all right? But let me not, let me not go through that, all right? Let me not go through that. But So I, I talk to people every day, and I, I see where they are coming from, and it just dawns on me that this person is a representative of probably 100 or even thousands of people. And so I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just do this. Now, see this. Is it possible to walk on one leg and not stagger? A human being is supposed to have two legs, right? Now, the question is, if you stood and then you, you, you bent one of your legs to the back, is it possible to actually walk without one leg, without, without staggering? The answer is no. It is impossible to walk with one leg without staggering. And so what I teach my inner circle guys is this. If you cannot walk with one leg without staggering, then how do you think you can become successful and rich and wealthy and all of those beautiful and fancy things you want to become doing it on one leg? So, in other words, people are struggling through life because they are standing on one leg or they are walking on one leg. Let me give you a teaser. If you wanted to become a lawyer, you go to law school, isn't it? You wanted to become a doctor, you go to medical school. You wanted to become a pilot, you go to flight school. You want to become a soldier, you go to military school. All right? Now, here's the question. You who wants to be successful, who wants to be wealthy, who wants to be rich, what school have you gone to? You see the problem? People want to be successful, they want to be wealthy, they want to be rich, but they have not subjected themselves to financial education. That's the problem. That is the disconnect. The same way you couldn't be a lawyer without going to law school. You couldn't be a soldier without going to military school. You couldn't fly a plane without going to flight school. It's the same way you cannot be wealthy and be sustainably so without engaging in financial education. Now, let me give you another example. It is possible for you, actually... Somebody is saying I should increase my volume. I think my volume is my volume is at the highest, actually. Now, it is possible for you not to go to flight school. Probably you read up some things about how to fly a plane, and then you sit on the cockpit, co uh, cockpit and by hook or crook, by lock, you press some buttons, and then the plane takes off. <laughs> the truth is this. Yes, the plane has taken off. But that plane will never land. <laughs> it will not land. That is the truth. Now, that is how people, that is what happens to people who suddenly run into money without going through financial education. They run into money, they become rich, but the truth is this, sooner or later they are going to lose it all. Because there is a particular set of skill that is needed for you to be at that level and remain at that level. All right? That is it. Now, people understand how to make money or people understand that they need to make money. That is not the problem. Most people understand that. In fact, the moment you're leaving school, the next thing you're looking for a job because Somehow, you just know that you need to make money. Everybody, everybody understands that. But here is what most people do not understand. Most people do not understand that their money needs to make money. 
That is what most people do not understand. And, that, and this is the major difference between the poor and the rich. All right? Before I go forward, let me define these two terms. Because if I do not define these two terms, a lot of you here listening to me will say, I'm not poor. <laughs> I'm not poor. Meanwhile, you're poor. Now, poverty has really nothing to do with money. When, 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 I, say, when I use the word poverty, I'm using it in its raw statutory meaning, which means ignorance. All right? Now, there's a difference between being broke and being poor. All right? You may be broke, but you're not poor. So it's just a matter of time. What you know will attract the money. So you're not broke. You may not have the cash, the physical cash right now, but it does not mean that you're poor. So when I, when I say, when I use that word poor, please try to, you know, in your mind, have a clear cut definition of what it means. Being poor is a state of ignorance. All right? It's a state where you do not have relevant knowledge. Now, the key word here is relevant. For instance, you are a real estate investor. All right? But every day you buy complete sports. You sit uh, in front of super sports. You watch from uh, Premier League to Spanish League to Italian League. And you watch. Now, you have knowledge in the area of sports. But because that is not your business, you are not able to commercialize that knowledge. Now, in the area of sports, you have knowledge. But in your business area, which is real estate, you are ignorant. That means you are poor. Are you getting that? Now, a lot of people, the differentiating factor between the rich and the poor is that the poor, the poor man lives his life entirely working for money. While the rich understands that they can never be rich working for money. Now, listen to this. Even if you work in an organization where you are paid five million naira per month, hmm, you are still poor if you do not understand that there's a difference between working for money and your money working for you. I'll give you an example. I once met a particular man who was retired or who was sacked by his employer. He worked uh, with the bank and rose to the level of assistant general manager. I mean, after assistant general manager, you only have deputy general manager and general manager. Every other thing apart from that is by appointment. So this guy, you can safely say, got to the peak of his career. All right? So he was laid off as an assistant general manager. Now, when he was laid off, this man moved in with his family to the house of his driver. The guy who drove him as his official driver while he was at the bank built a house. This assistant general manager who has worked in the bank for like 25 years didn't have a house. So, and that was why I took my time to define what poverty means. So if I have somebody like that here on this call tonight, who probably is working in a, a very paid employment, who is in a, paid, a very good paid employment, you probably tell me, no, I'm not poor. But hey, if you do not know what I'm telling you right now, you're poor. Just take it, own it, and start to make an end. Now, here is the thing. If you consistently work for money, you will only realize at 65, when you're due to retire, that you're still broke. Even though you earned very good money from when you started work to when you're about to retire or to when you're about to be laid off, even though you earned good money, but because you do not have this basic financial education, that until you understand that a certain percentage of your monthly income must be sent on an errand. 
to work for you. You are very far from being wealthy. Let me say that again. Until you understand that a certain percentage of your income must be sent on an errand to work for you, you are still poor. So I'm not, I'm not here to tell you, quit your job or stop your business. No, that is just one of your legs. Remember I said, a, every human being has two legs. Now, one of your legs is your job or your business. Your job or your business is your one leg. Your second leg is your investment, your passive income. What does that mean? Your passive income are income that come in consistently without you having to be physically present in those things. So you are sleeping, you're making money. You're traveling, you're making money. You're in the beach, you're making money. You're watching TV, you're making money. Those are the things that will guarantee you would ever be successful or rich. Not the work you do. Because the work you do, if anything ever happens, maybe, God forbid, you had an accident, you're bedridden, you're incapacitated. The moment you can no longer go to that job or go to that business place, your income starts reducing or even stops. There are a lot of you listening to me now on this call. If, I, if you want to be honest with me and I ask you now, if, you, if you're sacked from your job right now, or if something happens and your business collapsed, maybe your business, your business place caught fire, or the government came up with one policy that ran you out of business, or you were boggled, or something just happened and your business is no more. If I, if I threw that question open now, and you are really sincere, the truth is that so many of you cannot survive the next three months without a job or a business. So if you're here and you're finding it difficult to accept the fact that you're poor, all right? Now, just take this personal test yourself. Ask yourself, I mean, the, the worst thing you can do to yourself is to lie to yourself. I'm not saying tell me. So nobody knows your answer, all right? Just ask yourself right now, right now. Ask yourself, if my job stops or I'm sacked from my job or my business stops, how long can my family and I survive without changing our living standard? That is to say, can, how long can you live the same way you were living before you lost your business or your job? How long? The answer to that question is the true test of your status, whether poor or rich. All right? But I'm so certain that at least 95% of the people listening to me now cannot survive three months out of their job or out of their business. So that tells you that you are working on one leg. All right? And so you shouldn't be really surprised that you're limping or you're struggling because really there's no way you can gain a balance working on one leg. And what that should also tell you is that you're walking on the edge. Anything can happen and your life will never remain the same. All right? So I'm teaching you financial education 101. It doesn't matter how much you make from where you work. It doesn't matter how much you make from your business. You must understand that the money you make is not profit. Oh, goodness. Let me, let me, let me do this. If I asked you right now, what is profit? I'm going to get all sorts of answers. And I can tell you already that 99% of you will be wrong. If I ask you now, what is profit? A businessman will tell me that profit is a cost, uh, is this selling price minus cost price? Yeah, selling price minus cost price is profit. That's what the businessman will tell me. A salary, uh, a salary earner will tell me that the salary is his profit. But the truth is that those things are not your profit. Those things are not your profit. These are the kind of mentality that people have carried and they live their life struggling and they retire broke. Those things are not your profit. Your selling, uh, selling price minus cost price is not your profit. 
They taught us in school that it is your profit. But the truth is this. Most of the problem we have with our finances is actually caused by teachers and lecturers and all the nonsense that we were taught in school. All right? Let me give you an instance. So if you, if you sell mobile phones, for instance, and then you buy your mobile phones from Dubai, you travel to Dubai, you buy your mobile phones, maybe you bought this phone for 90000 and then you sold it for 150000 and then you tell me that your profit is 60000 Really? Okay. Let's do the maths. You, you, you bought the phone for 90000 right? Okay. Did you, did, you, did you just disappear to Dubai? No. You had to pay for your ticket, right? You took time to go to a travel agent to secure a visa, isn't it? All right. You, 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 you transported yourself to the airport, isn't it? All right. And then you flew. You paid your air ticket to Dubai, isn't it? Now, do you understand that going from your house to the airport is a lot of risk? Do you understand that? Do you also understand that flying from Nigeria to Dubai to buy this phone is a lot of risk? Do you understand that? So do you quantify that? The time you spent, the travel, do you quantify? Can you really quantify that? Now, if you really do quantify that, you will see that even though you sold this phone at 150, you are still at a loss. Because you couldn't put money on your life. You couldn't quantify the risk you had to go through to make to bring down this product to Nigeria. Can you see that now? So the, the 150,000 minus 90,000 is not your profit. It's just your wage. All right? So whatever you earn, whether in business or in your job, is just a wage. It's not a profit. Until your money can make money, you are not in profit, guys. For as long as it is your life making money, you are not in profit. Because your life cannot be quantified by money. For as long as whatever is giving you money, you have to physically be present. Your life has to be in that thing for you to make money. You are not in profit. So it is, it is you taking part of that wage now and then putting it in something that the money will bring more money by itself without your physical involvement that is when you can now begin to talk about profit now this is what the rich knows that the poor don't know and this is why it looks like whatever the rich does works and the poor keeps struggling because there's something the rich knows that the poor does not know financial education you want to be rich but you've not subjected yourself to financial education you can see how daunting that can be how difficult that can be it's as difficult as trying to become a lawyer without going to law school now listen to this you must have a certain percentage of your monthly wage that goes to an investment let me say that again. You must have a certain percentage of your income, of your wage, that goes to an investment. And this has to be done monthly. Now, listen to this. The percentage of your income that goes to investment is your most important expense. Most important expense. If I had asked you, before I said this, what is your most important expense? A lot of you would have said so many things. Pay my house rent, pay my children's school fees, take care of my parents, pay my tithe, and all of those beautiful things that you do with your money. All right? A lot of you would have told me those things if I, if I asked that question. But because I, want, I, didn't want, I don't want this session to be too long, so I, I'm, not, I'm not bothered about being too interactive tonight. But the truth is this. The most important expense is the money that goes from your income to your investment. That is your most important expense. Whatever expense you think you do, this is the most important. In fact, this particular expense is what will ensure that you don't see shame. This particular expense 
is your seed. It cannot be eaten. Now, listen to this. Watch my tenses. I did not say it will not be eaten. I said it cannot. The reason I said it cannot is that if you eat it, you will pay for it. So you cannot eat it. It's either you sow it now or you pay for it tomorrow. You cannot eat it. A certain percentage of your income is your seed. It is not to be eaten. It is to be sown. Because if you do not sow, you cannot expect harvest. This is what the rich knows that the poor does not know. And that is why you see Mr. A and Mr. B. Mr. A has poverty mentality. Mr. B has wealth mentality. They both secured a job in the bank, earning 100,000 naira a month. After 12 months, Mr. A will buy a car. I mean, I have to show now, I'm now a banker. He buys a car. Mr. B, and then after another five months, he moves out of his parents' house and then he rents a two-bedroom um, apartment. And then after another five months, he's planning of getting married. After getting married, children starts to come. Uh, school fees starts to come. All right? Now, you can see how by himself, Mr. A has put himself on a long road to poverty. Now, for Mr. A to return back and retrace himself to wealth is going to take a whole lot of discipline and hard work because he has by himself put himself in a very big ditch. Number one, he bought a car. That's a liability. Before now, he doesn't have any, any business with fueling that car. Now he has to. Before now, he doesn't have any business with car maintenance. Now he has to. Before now, he doesn't have any business with bashing somebody. Now he may bash somebody and he will need to repair that person's car. Before now, he doesn't have to run foul of road safety or last mile of police. Now, from time to time, last mile will arrest you. Road safety will arrest you. Police will arrest you. Now, those are expenses that he attracted to himself. And then he moved from where he was living to a bigger apartment, another expense. Now he's married, another expense. Children are on the way, another expense. Now he has made life a little bit more difficult for himself. Meanwhile, Mr. B, we say, okay, I give myself one year. Every month for one year, I'm going to take out 30% of my income and I'm going to be investing, putting it in different investments, such that in one year, I should have at least 12 streams of investment bringing money for me. Even if the 12 of them is only giving you 5,000 5, naira a month, it's something. That is guaranteed income. Means that you can actually leave that job if you choose to. Means that you, you must not be on that job. Means that you, you are not afraid of being sacked. That's what it means. So that is the mentality of the poor and the mentality of the rich. Now listen to this. Somebody will tell me, ah, Dan, you don't understand. The salary or the income for my business is not even enough. You are saying I should be taking off some percentage. Now let me ask you a question. Do you want that your income not to be enough for another one year or two? And then you, you get yourself and stand on your feet. Or do you wonder your income not to be enough until you're old? The choice is yours. So it's either you discipline yourself, call your wife, call your husband, sit her down, sit him down and tell him, honey, this is what we need to do. It's not going to be easy, but we need to edit or audit our lifestyle such that we will take minimum of 30% of our income and put in an investment. It's not going to be easy. We are going to suffer for it. But this is what we must do if we will not suffer for the rest days of our lives. So we'll rather suffer for one year or two years and have our life back than struggle through life. This is a decision you must make. Now, listen to this. Any problem that cannot wait for your money to multiply is not a problem meant for you to solve. 
Because what happens is this. I always humorously say this. I say, there are two groups. The group of poverty and the group of wealth. The group of poverty is already holding you. He does not want to let go. The group of wealth, on the other hand, does not have you, and he does not want to have you in. So there's something you must do. Number one, you must consciously break away from the group of poverty. And then you must forcefully break into the group of wealth. You cannot come out easily from the group of poverty, neither can you enter in easily into the group of wealth. Both of them require force. So what happens is this. When people get this kind of financial education and they decide to begin to practice this thing, then village people begins to get their attention. That is when somebody will call you, uh, uh, uncle is sick, he's almost dead. In fact, if you don't send 50,000 naira in the next five minutes, he's dead. Now, listen to me. I'm not going to tell you not to be responsible to your family. I'm not going to tell you that. But here is what I'm going to tell you. Any problem that cannot wait for your money to multiply is not a problem meant for you to solve. Can I say that again? Any problem that cannot wait for your money to multiply is not a problem for you to solve. Any problem that makes an attempt on your 30% that should go into an investment, that problem is from the devil and you must resist it. Now, here is what your mentality must be. At the end of the month, once your income comes, before you draw a budget, before you start thinking of how to spend, take out the 30% and put it in an investment. What does that mean? It means that before that money comes, you must have scouted for an investment to put the money. So the moment the money is entering your account, the first expense that must happen is your 30% going to an, invest to an investment. Now, when you have done that, then you can sit down to budget the remaining 70%. Listen to this. You will never die because you don't have enough money. Never. As a matter of fact, let me tell you something. If you didn't have that job or that business that is bringing that income, you would still have survived. So anything telling you that you cannot survive on your 70% is the devil that does not want you to prosper. Because if you don't have that job, if you don't have that business, you will still survive. You can't die. So now that you even have a job, you have a means of income, don't let any devil tell you that you cannot survive on 70%. Mm -mm. You may suffer, yes, I agree, but it's good to suffer for one year or two years and enjoy the rest of your life than suffer the rest of your life. So your most important expense the first expense that you must do whenever an income comes to you is expense to an investment. Before you start thinking of school fees, before you start thinking of house rent, before you start thinking of sending money to parents, before any of those things you are thinking about starts to happen, the expense to your investment must happen because this is what will guarantee that you are not a shame to your family tomorrow. Unfortunately, most people care for others more than they care for themselves. Let me say this another way. Poor people are nice. Rich people are objective. Rich people are not nice. And that is why poor people 
call rich people wicked. No, they are not wicked. They are only objective. It is poor people that are nice. It is a poor man that will say, oh, if I don't give him this money now, ah, he will suffer. Okay, now let me ask you a question. Would you rather he suffers or that you suffer? And not even you and your family suffers. Now, here is one principle. Until you save yourself, you do not have the capacity to save anybody. Listen to that very well. Now, some people with their poverty mentality will struggle with some things I teach. And that's why I, I told you from the onset that this is what I teach my Daniela Mastermind. And it is, it is an ongoing training. It's something you hear and then you hear again. You know, it's not, it's not something, it's not a training you do once. So some of the things you're going to be hearing will challenge your core. We challenge everything you have known about finance and life. But that is how it's supposed to be because one of the hardest things to teach in life is financial education. Now, let me say that again. Until you save yourself, you do not have the capacity to save another person. So I understand that you have a meek heart. Hmm? You want to help. I understand that. But sir, help yourself first. Ma, help yourself first. Until you help yourself, you cannot help another person. So you must, your priority right now must be to secure your future and that of your family before you begin to talk about securing another person's future. You must not misplace that priority. All right? So all of the people, one of my mentors shared with me, he said his elder sister wanted to celebrate her birthday and then she sent an her ivy to him. And then he called the elder sister. Okay, no. She sent an ivy to him and, and requested for his uh, presence in the celebration. So after some days, he called her and said, Sister me, I want to make you an offer. And I want you to choose which you prefer. Do you want me to come for your birthday celebration? Or do you want me to send money? If I come, I won't give you money. If I send money, I won't come. You can't have my time and my money. And the sister said, mm, send money, send money. You, you send money and you will not come for my birthday <laughs> if I hear. Send money, I beg, send money. So she believed that it is not possible for him not to come for the, for the, for the birthday celebration. And so he sent the money and he did not go. And she couldn't believe it. And she was furious, calling family members. So one day, he called and said, come. And then he taught her some of the things I'm saying now. And then she, she got to understand. Now, I see people. People say, ah, the reason I did not attend that financial education seminar, the reason I didn't come for that meeting, the reason I didn't come for that conference, is because I had the wedding, it's because I, attend, I, I had a wedding. Hello? Are you the chairman of that wedding? Or are you the father of the bride? Now, listen to this. I already said it before. Poor people are nice. Rich people are objective. The reason why you, are, you were invited to that wedding to start with is because the celebrant feels you have value to add. Hmm? Now, so it is your responsibility to ensure that you maintain your source of value, which is your investments. Anything that is trying to tamper with your investments is already tampering with your source of value. The same people who are inviting you every weekend 
from one wedding to the other, you are sowing as you be week in, week out. If anything happens to your source, huh? and the sense that you are no longer bringing green light, those people will organize a party in the, in the next compound to where you live and will not invite you. So here's the thing. Why are you pitying for someone who will not pity for you? You want to sacrifice your financial destiny because you must show as she be. Money for your investment, you want to show as she be. You must travel. You are jumping up and down. Today you are in Abuja. Next tomorrow you are in Calabar attending uh, weddings. And then the same you will say in a seminar like this that you don't have money. The money you make is not enough, not to talk of investment. But it is enough to show as she be. It's enough to travel from one wedding to the other. It's enough to go to the cinema. So one thing you need to do right now is to audit your lifestyle. There are so many things you must yank off from your lifestyle. All right? You must tell yourself, I will not afford you now. Not I cannot, because really you can. But you tell yourself, I will not afford you now, at least for the next one year, so that I will afford you many times over tomorrow. There's a saying, those who do the things that many people will not do today will live the way that many people cannot afford to live tomorrow. All right? So tomorrow when you're fly flying first class, lodging in five-star uh, hotels, sending your children to the best of schools, going to the most expensive beaches in the world, somebody looks at you and says, you are lucky. No, you are not lucky. You sacrifice five years of your life to build your financial life so that you can afford those things. You imbibed the law of delayed gratification so that you can afford those things tomorrow. That is how these things are done, ladies and gentlemen. All right? This, what I'm sharing with you is very, very serious. Some of you are driving cars that is not your level yet. It is not everything that you can afford that you should actually buy. It is not everything that you can afford that you should actually buy. I was discussing with somebody, was in my PA just some days ago, and then I said to him, I said, this life, you need discipline. I said, I love cars, but I discipline myself so much. Oh my goodness. If you know the kind of discipline I put myself under, because I'm a lover of cars and I know it. And I say it all the time. But I discipline myself so much. So I said to him, just some, yesterday or two days ago, I said, just imagine that somebody who bought Range Rover Vogue 2018 model, all right? He's happy he bought the latest model. But there is a Range Rover Vela that is out already, 2019 model. How about that? Now, some people, have, have you seen people who buys an expensive car? And then when that expensive car is due for a change, they are not able to buy another car in that same class of car that they are supposed to change. So somebody buys a range when it's not supposed to buy a range. And then he uses the range until the range starts telling you, yeah, change me, I'm tired. Now, the person then goes from a range to Toyota Corolla. What has happened? He bought the range when he is not supposed to. Now, this is how you will know when you are supposed to buy something. When you can actually buy another one without, without actually feeling it. So, for instance, I buy a Range Rover. I can decide now that, okay, fine. Every year I want to drive the latest car. I'll drive just one car, but it has to be the latest car. So, I buy a Range Rover Vogue 2018 this year. I drive it to December, January. I sell it off and I buy a Range Rover Vela. All right? Now, if I bought that Range Rover... Vogue, when I'm not supposed to, even after selling it, I will not have enough money to add to buy a Range Rover Vela. 
I, I hope you're understanding what I'm teaching tonight. So it is not everything that you can afford that you should actually buy. You just, something, you just did one transaction, bah, you hit 10 million. And the next thing, you pack to VGC. I'm going to pay 5 million per annum. Okay. But that rent will soon expire. And then you start struggling how to renew it. So it's not everything that you can afford that you should actually afford. You should know your level part time. And, and, and try to live in such a way that you will have reasonable amount to invest because it is your investment that will take care of your future. You will get to a time when with your investment, you can buy the latest cars. With your investment, you can fly first class. With your investment, you can stay in only five-star hotel. With your investment, you can live and afford any lifestyle you want. Dare calls it champagne lifestyle. You get to a point where your investment can actually do all of that. But at this particular point, is not yet time for that. You must understand the seasons of your life. This is very key, guys. Very, very key. Very, very key. And this is what I've noticed. Now, no program can make you wealthy. No program can make you wealthy. Now, listen, wealth is a lifestyle. Wealth is habit. It's, it's habit. If you take somebody with a wealthy habit to a strange town, give him some time, you will become wealthy. If somebody with a wealthy habit loses all the money he has, give him some time, he will return back. The reason people lose money and commit suicide is because they do not believe they can make that money again. Because they, they knew they got that money by luck. They know they do not have the content inside to, to create and generate that money again. All right? Now, you must focus on passive income. Not on your job. Not on your business. No, 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 no. Because you can, you may, some, something can, go and ask those in oil and gas. A policy can come out tomorrow that will dry up your business. Now, let me say this. This is another thing that people do. And it's as a result of the poverty mentality. Now, I am selling phones. I import phones, all right? Now, I started with a capital of one million. And then I sell, I turn over. And then every money I make from this phone business, I put it right back into the phone business. And what I am telling myself is I am expanding the business, right? So from one outlet, I want to have two, I want to have three, I want to have four and all of that. Beautiful, but you must create a balance. Remember, your business requires your physical presence. And so cannot be your second leg. Your second leg must be something that can make you money even when you're not there. In fact, your second leg does not need you to make you money. You are useless to the second leg in, in the process of generating money for you. So while trying to increase your business, Ensure you're not pumping all the money you're making right into that business. Because a policy can come that will, that will swallow that business. Both your capital and all the money you have pumped in. And then you return broke again. So as you're making money from that business, fine. It's good to plow some money into, into the business back so you can scale it. But you must ensure you are taking some percentage out of that business to an investment that does not require your physical presence. Those are the things that would ensure you don't go broke tomorrow. So what the rich focus on is passive income. What the poor focus on is their job or business. Now, what is passive income? Passive income is what you do once and you get paid for a very long time. You do it once, you get paid for a very long time. That is the meaning of passive income. And unfortunately, Africans don't focus on this. Africans focus more on business. They focus more on job. They don't focus on passive income, which is why as Africans, we all have inherited poverty. 
from our ancestors, not forefathers. Most of us don't have forefathers. What we have is ancestors. There's a difference. <laughs> the daddy is laughing. <laughs> Most of us don't have forefathers. What we have is ancestors. Now, if I ask you now, what is the name of your great grandfather? You don't know. And then you tell me, Dan, why must I know great grandfather? Do I even know the name of my grandfather? I'm talking about great grandfather. But you know the name of Rockefeller. Hmm? You know the name of you, you know Nelson Mandela. Why don't you know the name of your own great grandfather when you know this man? The reason you don't know the name of your great grandfather is that they are useless to you. They do not add any value to your life. That's why you don't know them. So these people are ancestors, they're not forefathers. Because a forefather is somebody who has built a foundation for you to climb on and have a better life. Some of us are starting life from scratch. It's not supposed to be so. It's not, that is why the West are where they are and we are where we are. It's not supposed to be so. I'm supposed to have graduated from school and then I inherit a business from my father to run. That is how it's supposed to be. I'm not supposed to start from the scratch where my father started or where my grandfather started. No. So my grandfather is supposed to have built something. My father will build on it and then I will take over. So I'm not supposed to start from the scratch. But because we don't have forefathers, we don't have ancestors. In fact, they, they did more harm to us than good. Because it's bad enough that they didn't leave any inheritance for us. They, they now went and they're serving Juju again. So now, most of us, when we come out, you have to go and do deliverance first. <laughs> you have to do deliverance first before, before poverty can even come. You know, so these people have done us so much evil. So what we have is collateral poverty in Africa. So, but you must ensure that your own children and your lineage will not suffer what you suffered. You must build something for them. Eh? If my if my ancestor was was a forefather and he left a business for my father, in fact, now in my sitting room, you I will have built a very big plaque of him and put it there. When I, when I have my children, I'll tell them, "This is your great great grandfather. His name is so, so and so." Because he has added value to my life. But now, why should I do that? When I don't, he has not added no value, nothing. But it is your responsibility and my responsibility to ensure that our children's children do not forget us. And the only way they will not forget us is to leave a legacy for them. That is the only way they will not forget us. To leave a legacy for them. The reason why some of us, our father will call us, our father will have to call us to beg us to send money is because they didn't add value to your life. That is the truth. Let's face fact. That is the truth. If your father is Dangote, huh, will you wait for him to call you? you? I mean, do you understand what I'm talking about? But the truth is this. What most people do is they focus on the past and forget that if you do not rearrange yourself now, what you are accusing your ancestors of doing is the same thing you two will do to your lineage. Right? Now, you would ask me, now, I'm going to share with you a business that I personally am investing with. I'm investing with. You can decide to invest or look for any business of your choice to invest in. But by all means, ensure you're investing consistently every, every month. <laughs> All right. Now, let me, let me share this investment with you and I'll do it in 10 minutes. All right. Now, a lot of you probably on this call have heard about cryptocurrency. All right. Like I said, now let me make this clear so that you do not think that this is a marketing call. This is not a marketing call. This is a call I'm doing because I believe there's something you need to know. Now, 
No business can make you rich until you know the things I already shared. Any business you go into, you will still end up poor. Because it is not that business that will make you rich. It is what you do with what you make from that business that makes you rich. So cryptocurrency is the hottest technology right now, yes. But it cannot, in, cryptocurrency in and of itself cannot make you rich. There are many cryptocurrency investors and traders that I know who started as far back as 2012, who are still broke till today. All right? So I'm gonna share this investment. I personally do it. And if you care to join me, I'll welcome you with both hands. Now, it's, it's, it's a crypto trading investment. The name is Tradex, all right? Now, the beauty about this investment is because before now, people hear about cryptocurrency, how people are making money from cryptocurrency and all of that. But the truth is there's a learning curve. And most people are not willing to learn how to make money from cryptocurrency. Now, this Tradex, what they, what they have done is to provide a solution for this class of people who will never learn how to trade cryptocurrency themselves, but have money they want to invest so that they can be making passive income. Now, what traders have done is that they have a group of professional investors who trade cryptocurrency. It is their full-time work. Now, what you do is when you register into Tradex, you open your own account with Bitrex or Binance. That is a cryptocurrency exchange. An exchange is where you buy and sell cryptocurrency. All right? So you put your money in your account. You are not giving it to anybody. One law of financial education is control. You must control your money. The moment somebody else is controlling your money, you're not in charge, all right? So the money stays with you. You're not giving anybody your money, all right? It stays in your account. But then now, you integrate your account with the professional trader's account through an API. What it means is that your account begins to mirror the account of the professional trader. So whatever the professional trader is buying in his own account, it is automatically buying in your own account. When they sell, it sells in your own account. Hands off, you don't have to do nothing. Anytime the professional traders buy, it buys in your own account. Anytime they sell, it sells in your own account. It is hands off. So it's a passive income uh, um, channel for anybody who is interested. And the reason why I'm so passionate about it is because it is affordable for every serious minded person to come in. It's just $143, about 55,000 naira. Anybody can do this, all right? Anybody can do this, including students. 55,000 naira, you become a member of this um, uh, platform, Tradex, and then you cannot decide how much you want to start trading with. And if you belong to the group of people that say, okay, I can, I can try to raise one for the $3, but I may not have any money left to trade. Now, here is what these people have done. They have said, you know what? Help us talk to people about us. As they come in, we pay you. So that means that you can actually just pay your one for the three and don't trade. Just tell people about this opportunity. You make commissions. From your commissions, you can now start trading. So you're making money from commissions. You're also making money from trading. All right? So that's, basic, that's very simply what Tradex is about. So in other words, you are actually paying one for the three dollars to hire professional traders to trade for you. But you're not giving them the money. The money stays in your account and they are trading on, your, on their own account and then it's trading for you. So because they are trading on their own account, of course, they won't lose money because losing money is losing their own money. They have to lose their own money before you will lose. So they have a vested interest to make money on their own account so that you too can make money on your own account. Is that okay? Now, let me share what the compensation plan looks like. In, in, in all fairness and honesty, if you're here and your money is your problem, 
really. If money is your problem, I want you to make a commitment to yourself to actually commit the next 30 days to this program. And I bet you your life will change. Now, I have a similar other program that I'm actually doing. But the reason why I'm so passionate about this is that many people cannot afford that one. That one is $500, the lowest. This one is $143. Anybody can do this, really. And this has a, an amazing compensation plan, which I'll show you in a bit. So in other words, if money is your, is your, if money is your issue, all right, I, I, I empathize with you, all right? One of the issues you had was the property mentality. But with what you know tonight, hmm, you can actually make a decision that from tonight, you want to start taking gradual steps towards financial freedom. And this is where it starts. If you can raise 55,000 to come on board, all right, forget about raising money to trade and then tell people about this opportunity. As those people come on board, your financial life will begin to improve dramatically. Let me show you what I mean because let it not look like I'm just talking um, without showing you anything. Let me show you what the compensation plan looks like maybe it may motivate somebody tonight. If, it, if there's just one person who is hopeless, who feels like, man, I don't know what my life has become. I don't even know what I should do because that is the worst place you can be. When you know that where you are right now is not good enough, but you don't even know the next thing to do. That is the worst thing that can happen. All right? Now, let me show you the next thing you can begin to do now. And anybody can actually do this. So let me share my screen one minute. Okay, now please forget about the left. This, this slide that I'm using now is divided into two. You can see this yellow line uh, in between. Please just ignore the left side of this slide. Just focus on the right side, all right? Now, here is what their compensation plan looks like. And that's why I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, everybody on this call, if, if all you've ever wanted to do is to be able to cater for yourself, your family, and at least leave a legacy for your children, everybody can win with this. Seriously, everybody can win with this. Everybody can win with this. Now, here is what they, well, here is what they, are, they are telling you. They are telling you that the moment you, you bring in four people, now, either you bring in, or the, for instance, let me explain. Just imagine you came in. Imagine that way you came in. And then that way, you brought in your sister. And your sister brought in three people. You already have four people in your organization. Meanwhile, even though you have four people in your organization, you personally brought only one person. That is what all of the figures you are going to be seeing here means. So if you have four people in your organization or 14 people in your organization, you are going to be earning between $23 to $82 every month. All right, and then for hitting this rank, they give you a bonus of $50. This one is just to tell you thank you. Let me explain it again. The moment you have four people in your organization, whether you brought in these four people personally yourself, or the people you brought in, brought in people, and then you have four people. The moment you have between four to 14 people, a minimum of four, a maximum of four, 14, you will earn between $23 to $82. That is to say, if you have four people, you will earn $23. If you have five people, it will increase until when you hit 14 people, you will earn a maximum of $82 in this particular rank. Plus your $50 thank you bonus they are giving you. All right? Now, this is in addition to the um, fast start bonuses they are paying you. For everybody in your first generation, they are paying you $25.
In your second generation, they are paying you ten dollars. In your third generation, they are paying you five five dollars. Let me explain this again. Imagine that Daddy brought his sister, and his sister brought in three people. So his sister's three people plus his sister is four. That means Daddy has four people in his organization. Daddy will be earning twenty-three dollars a month, right? Now Daddy will be paid twenty-five dollars also for bringing his sister. And then that day also will be paid ten dollars times three for the three people his sister brought, and then that day sister will be paid twenty five dollars for each for the three people she brought. So in other words, you are going to be paid twenty five dollars, ten dollars, or five dollars depending on your the level at that these people are in your organization. So if you if you brought them directly for everybody you brought, so that means if you bring in ten people now directly. You are going to receive 25 times 10. If 10 of these people you brought bring in 10, 10 people on their own, that means you have 100 people in your second in your second generation. You are going to get 100 times 10, which is $1,000, plus the money you are being paid for this particular rank. I hope this is clear. All right. Now, this the second rank is the silver rank. That one, the moment you have 15 people in your organization. It doesn't matter how these 15 people came, whether you are the that brought all of them or you brought only one person and other people brought other people. Once you have 15 people in your organization, you start earning $95, all right? So between 15 people to 39 people, you are earning between $95 to $246. And then they give you a 10Q bonus of $200. They pay you a 10Q bonus of $200 plus the maximum of $246 that you can earn in this particular round. And do I also mention that they pay you this weekly? In other words, 246 plus 200 is 400. Uh, sorry, this 246 will be divided into four. Every Friday by 4 p.m. Nigerian time, your account will be credited. All right? You don't need to log into the account to withdraw it. Automatically, it is paid into your Bitcoin Cash account. All right? Every Friday by 4 p.m. it is paid. Another good thing about this is that you earn this money every month. There are programs where if you work and stop, you stop earning. Why I love this and I'm passionate about it, mentioning it to you, is because it is affordable. One, two, it is passive income. Any rank you hit, you, you earn that money every week. For instance, if you hit the silver rank, and you have 39 people, for instance, in your organization, you are going to be earning 246 divided by four every week. It is not just a one-off payment. You will earn this money every week. So if you imagine you just brought in some people and you have 39 people in your organization and you decide to stop work for any reason, you decide that, okay, I don't want to refer again you will still continue earning your $246 divided by four every week, even though you're no longer working again. And in all honesty, it will actually increase because some of the people under you will want to bring people through so that they can earn money. So as those people are bringing people, your organization is increasing and you are earning more money. That is what we talk about passive income. So when I talk about passive income in my training to you, this is an example of a passive income. You do something once and you end for you end for a very long time. All right. So the third rank is gold. That one, if you have between 40 and 99 people in your organization, you end between 288 to 713 every month. This amount will be divided into four and you will pay this every Friday. All right. Then they'll give you a five hundred dollar um, money for thank you, called thank you bonus, whatever. You just give pay you that. For hitting this rank all right now the next rank is the diamond rank if you have between 100 and 249 remember what i said it is not you bringing all of this it is joint effort all the people that are brought in by the people in your organization they all count for you all right so this you will earn between 720 to 2017 dollars every month and then they pay you a thank you bonus of 1000 for hitting this rank all right the next bonus is the black diamond bonus this is what I'm doing. Uh, this is the target and vision I have with my inner circle uh, 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 members, all right? The people that I'm mentoring, this is my target for them. 
in the next 30 days, all of them must hit a black diamond. That is, they must have between 250 people to 599 people in their organization. And what does this mean? They will be earning between 2,025 to 4,582 every month. This is about 1.7 million. If you're earning 1.7 million passively every month, that's amazing. Passive income. You're not doing anything every month, month in, month out. 1.7 million is coming. And as I tell you, it will definitely increase because the people under you are also bringing people because they want to make more money too. And as they're bringing people, this figure is also increasing. All right? Now, here is the strategy I shared with them, with the, my inner circle uh, guys. All they need to do is to commit to bring 10 people. Bring 10 persons. Personally, refer 10 persons. And you can do that in seven days. In one week, you can refer seven persons. If you scroll through your phone book, you know 10 people who can afford to invest $143. All right? So invest, uh, bring in 10 people and train these 10 people to, bring, to each bring in their own 10 people. Tell them that we have a target, that we all want to hit a black diamond so that we are earning between $2,000 to $4,500 every month. Once they have this vision and target in their mind, everybody will be running to get their 10 people. Now, once you get your 10 people to commit to get their 10 people, that means you have 110 people in your organization. All right? Now, if you can, and then you also teach this. So it's going to be a culture in the group. Everybody gets 10. So if these 10 people get their 10, that is already 1,000 people. So 1,000 plus 100 is 1,100, plus 10 is 1,110. You're already way above the black diamond level, where you're earning way over 1.7 million every month. Is this doable? Oh, yes, it is doable. So how do, how do I say we can do this in 30 days? In your first one week, you get your 10 people. And then your second one week, you teach these 10 people to each do what you have done, get their second people. That means in two weeks, you already have 100 people. In your third week, you teach that 100 people to do the same thing that your 10 and you have done. In your third week, even if you don't have the full 1,000 people, you will definitely have almost 600. In fact, you will definitely be a black diamond because you will definitely have more than 250 people. That is how easy it is to hit this particular rank in 30 days. All right? So you're not bringing 250 people or 600 people. You're only bringing 10. Everybody, teach your people to bring 10. That's all. And in just as short as 30 days, you can become a black diamond, earning 1.7 million every month with a gift of an, uh, an Apple MacBook. All right? You'll be given this gift, an Apple MacBook. Now, the next level is executive diamond. That is if you have... 600 people to 1,499 people in your organization. All right? If you, if, you, if you hit this rank, the company will give you an all expense paid to Ibiza. Ibiza is a luxury island. It's a, it's, it's a vacation spot somewhere in the Mediterranean around Spain. All right? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a destination spot for a lot of celebrities. So this company will, will give you an all-expense-paid vacation to Ibiza. You and your loved one, all right? You and your loved one, five days, four nights in a choice hotel, and they'll fly you to Ibiza, all expense on this company, just for hitting the rank of executive diamond. Plus, you, you start earning between $4,590 to $11,467 every month. This is amazing. And then in the next round, once you hit the next rank of the Royal Diamond, you will get an all expense paid to Dubai. Five days and four nights, all expense paid, you and a loved one, all right? So for you to qualify for this, you need, need 1,500 people in your organization. 1,500 to 2,900 people in your organization and then you you get a trip to dubai plus you'll be earning twelve thousand one fifty dollars to twenty four thousand dollars every single month 
this is very doable. The moment you sell this vision, the vision I'm selling to you now, the moment you sell it to your people, everybody will be on a drive to get just 10 people. All you need is 10 people. If you can do more than 10, by all means do, because the more people you bring, the more money you make, right? But all you need really is 10 people for all of this magic to unfold for you. Remember the math I did? That math I did, in seven days, if you bring 10 people, in the next seven days, your 10 people, you train them to bring their 10, you have 100. In the next seven days, these 100 people bring their 10, you already have 1,000 in just 21 days. In just 21 days, you already have 1,000, all right? So this, this, I told you already, can get you a trip to Ibiza. So it's very, very easy to do. Once there is a vision, you sell this vision to your people, everybody will be on the go. 10 people, even a student can get 10 people to, to come on board for $143, all right? Executive director, that is the next rank. That one, you would you get a, a, a car gift, an Hyundai i10. They have secured, um, what they do is they will call the, the, the car distributorship in your country and they will transfer money to them. You just go to the distributorship and drive your car away. All right? That's what they do. So you get a Hyundai i10 at executive director level, and then you also earn 25650 to 56692 every month. The next rank, let's be faster now, global director, you get a Mercedes C180, all right? The same thing, you go to a, a Globe Motors and you drive away your Mercedes C180, and then plus you earn your $63,000 to $112,491 every month. The next rank is the diamond director, you get a car gift of a Mercedes GLE, all right? Uh, and then you earn 112,500 to 125,000 every month, all right? And then the next rank is the executive president. You get, um, they buy you a house. You tell them anywhere in the world you want them to buy you a house. They buy you a house, not more than $300,000, all right? They buy you a house anywhere in the world. If you want it in Nigeria, they buy it in Nigeria. You want it in Paris, you want it in Miami, anywhere in the world you want a house, they will buy you this house. As long as it is not more than $300,000, they are going to buy you. And then you earn $447,000 to $487,000 every month. All right? And then the highest level is the Populion. All right? Populion, they also buy you a house not exceeding $500,000 anywhere in the world. All right? So... If you commit to this process and in one year and six months you hit a popular lion, will that be a work well deserved? I think so. So if you commit to this process, now do not forget this. You may say, oh Dan, for, you to, for me to become a popular lion, I need 50,000 people in my organization. It's a lot of people. Who told you it's a lot of people? Who told you it's a lot of people? Do you know that one person can sign up in your organization who will single-handedly bring 500 people? So imagine you have 10 of those people bringing in 500 people. That is 5,000 already. So this is um, group work, so to say. Because everybody is on a vision. Everybody is having this particular compensation plan and is running with it. Man, I want to win MacBook Pro. I want to win uh, Ibiza trip with my family. I want to win Dubai trip. I want to win a Hyundai i10. I want to win a Mercedes C180. I want to win a, a Mercedes G, uh, 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 a Mercedes uh, SUV. I want to win a house. Everybody is running with that vision. And as they are bringing people, your vision is growing. So in one year and six months, you can actually earn this money. If you commit to it, that is. So imagine in one year and six months, you're a popular lion. Do you know what you would have gained? Aside from the money you're making every month, that means you now own a, a house of $500,000 in one in somewhere in the world. You also have another house of $300,000 somewhere in the world. You also have a Mercedes GLE. You also have a Mercedes C180. You have an Hyundai i10. You have a MacBook Pro. It's amazing, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the compensation plan. If this compensation plan does not set your heart on fire, I don't know what will. All right? But all I do know, is that anybody can win with this compensation plan. It is just $143 to get involved in this system. 
you make and all of this money I've even mentioned is not even I've not taken cognizance of the money you're making from trading. Remember, the professional traders are trading for you. So you're not even bothered about looking for signals, belonging to signals group, or looking at charts yourself. All of those things are work that you will not be doing again. You have hired professionals, you've paid them, and they are trading for you. You're making money trading, you're making money in commissions. Can you just imagine what that's? What that means. So that means that you can actually decide that, okay, the money I'm making in trading, I won't touch it. Let it just be compounding, all right? While I just spend money I'm making from commissions. There's, like, there's so much, just imagine what you can do with this opportunity. Just $143,000, $55,000, $55,000, $55,000 gives you access into everything that I have shared with you today. And this is passive income. You, you do, you can, in fact, you can actually say, okay, let me commit three months vigorously into this, build my organization. The moment you do this, your organization will build itself effortlessly going forward because Everybody that has come in, we want to also make money and they are building. As they are building, you're making money. So your own task is just to do that initial work of getting 10 people or more if you choose to on board. One day, once those 10 people have come, teach them to do what you have done and every other thing is on autopilot. If you decide to be lazy, you can actually stop working and you still make money every week. 4 p.m. every Friday, your account is getting a credit. This is what rich people do. Rich people create these multiples of this kind of channels. That is what rich people do. Such that even if a particular channel closes down, their lifestyle will not be affected. They will not suddenly need to change environment or move from one level of apartment to the other level. All right? This is what rich people do they invest in passive income, all right? So basically, this is it. Now, if you, want, if you are interested in this opportunity, all you need to do is to go back to the person who invited you for this webinar, all right? Go back to him because you need to work together with him. He will teach you so many things and then you can get started, all right? If I'm the one that invited you here, just reach out to me send me an email, send me a WhatsApp, and then I will, I will um, take care of you, all right? So it's as simple as that, guys. So let me take questions, and then we can call it a day. So keep your questions coming. Send your questions. Let's make this very fast. Uh, maybe there are things I missed out along the lines, or there are clarifications you want to seek. Just feel free, ask me your questions, and I would do well to do justice to them, and then we can call it a day, all right? So questions, questions, questions. Uh, Metalistic said, Dan, since I joined your mentorship, this is the best meeting you ever hosted. Truth be told, okay, I would love to have this video so I can send it to so many persons I know. Thanks. You're welcome, my brother. You're welcome. Thank you for the kind words. Douglas says, it is my pleasure to be here. Thanks for the opportunity, sir. You're welcome. Dele says, please, if I come with associate package and I couldn't get those that want associate but client package, will I be paid direct transfer? Okay, now let me explain this. There are two packages. There is a client package and the associate package. The client package is for people who do not want to refer. They're not interested in telling anybody about this opportunity. They only want to just get in and have the professional traders trade for them. That's all. So if you want to come in as a client package, it's just $53 to come in. Just $53. To come in, you don't want to refer, you don't want to make these commissions I've shown you, just pay $53 and you come in, all right? But if you want, if you think that along the line you want to refer so that you make more money, then of course, then of course you need to do the $143 package. Now, here's the difference between the client package and the associate package. For the client package, you only pay $43, and that is it. And then you pay the company 35% of the profit they make for you every month. 
you pay your for, uh, $53 to get access to the system and you're not paying any other thing except 35% of the profit. In other words, every money they make for you, you keep 35%. Oh, sorry, you pay them 35% and keep 65%, which is a fair deal if you ask me. 65% that I wouldn't have made is a fair deal for me. I don't know how to trade. I'm a newbie in cryptocurrency, but I have money. Rather have that money sit in the bank and I'm losing it because inflation is happening on that money. Now I, I put it in this and these professional traders are actually the one working and making money for me. And I'm making an, an extra 65% of my money every uh, 65%. I'm keeping 65% of the profit I have made every month. I think it's a good deal for me and should actually be a good deal for anybody that is being reasonable. All right. So you pay them 35% and then you keep 65%. That is for the client package. Now, for the associate package, for those who actually want to make money with via trading and also make money via commission you your your registration is 143 dollars hmm? and then instead of paying 10 percent uh of your profit per month sorry instead of paying 35 percent of your profit per month you are paying 10 percent of your profit per month remember for the client you are paying 53 dollars and 35 percent of your profit per month for associate you are paying 143 dollars plus 10% of your profit per month plus $90. $90 is standard. Everybody that is an associate is paying $90 every month. Whether you make $1 million as profit, whether you make $1,000, whatever you make, you are paying a standard $90 every month as an associate. So your one for the three dollars you paid once, once in a lifetime. You never pay it again. You pay your one for the three dollars, and then ten percent of your profit every month you pay to them plus ninety dollars. So let me say it again: for client, you pay fifty-three dollars once, once in a lifetime. Fifty-three dollars and thirty-five percent of your monthly profit you pay to the company. Everything is yours. For an associate. You will pay one for the three dollars registration fee one time for life. You won't pay it again, and then you pay ten percent of your profit per month to the company and ninety dollars. Ten percent of your profit plus ninety dollars is what you pay to the company, and then you can make all of the monies that I showed you in the compensation plan. For me, I think it's amazing. In your first month alone, the money you make, this thing will pay for itself. The money you make in your commissions will pay this $90. That is the truth. The money you make will pay for this $90. So it's a good deal. So um, Dele, I hope that answers your question. Let me read the question again to be sure. So please, if I come in with associate package, can I, and I couldn't get those that one associate bought client package, will I be paid direct referral bonus on clients? Yes. You will be paid direct uh, bonus, but they will not be in your organization. The only people in your organization are those in the associate package who are paying the $90. Because it is the $90 that we are paying every month that is making it possible for us to also earn every month. So if anybody is not paying every month, that is they are in the client package, they will not be in your organization. Okay? So you should actually try to ensure you get more people who are associate tell them show them the compensation plan some people will tell you i don't want to refer but the truth is as you start making money it is difficult not to refer except a wicked person you can't have a friend who has money problems and you have something that is making you money and you're not sharing it with him what kind of a friend are you so along the lines you definitely want to refer so it's always better to just do the associate package once and for all okay techno say please sir, position the ranks well Okay, I wouldn't know what you mean by that. Gabriel says, when I decide to also trade, do I pay anything monthly? Okay, I think you asked this question before I, I gave this clarification. Gabriel, I'm sure you, you have your answers already. Uh, 
Okay, uh, Arab says, sorry, what is the integrity of this uh, company? The beauty about this is that their integrity really doesn't matter in the sense that your money stays in your exchange. They cannot withdraw the money in your exchange. So as a matter of fact, the only thing you risk is your $143. That is the only thing you risk. If, for instance, you pay your one for the three dollars and you get into you start this particular program, and after two or three weeks, the company folds up and run and stops being in existence, all of the coins that they have bought for you remains yours. If you leave these coins long enough, the money you will make when you sell them will pay off the one for the three dollars you actually registered in this program. So, in other words, you we, we are actually not even bothered whether they have integrity or not because you are not in harm's way whatsoever. They can't, blow, they can't just trade and blow your money. Don't forget that they are not trading with your money. They are, they are actually trading with their own money. Your account is only linked to their own account. In other words, for you to lose money, they must lose money. So, and nobody wants to lose money. So they won't want to lose money, so you won't lose money. Do you understand? So you, we, we are actually at no risk. The only risk here is the one for the $3 you're paying. And I actually think it's a good risk. If, you, if we need to risk one for the $3 to stand a chance to actually make passive income, I think it's a risk well worth it. So I love the way this business is structured because it has made it very difficult for this company to scam us because we are not at their mercy in any way, shape, or form. They cannot withdraw our money. We are not paying them this money. This money stays in our account and they cannot withdraw it. So even if they stop being in existence, the coins that they have bought is in our account, remains our own. We can sell it for any time we like and make our money. All right, Arab, I hope that answers your question. Now, somebody is asking, um, are we in harm's way since the, uh, the, uh, we are going to be connecting our account to your own account via API? We are not in harm's way at all. For instance, if you go to your Beatrice Exchange account or your Binance account, you will see that there is a portion that Beatrice allows you to tick if you want um, if you want it to be possible for withdrawal to be made through API, as long as you do not click that button, nobody can withdraw from your account via API. So in other words, you're actually free. You're actually fine. So even though you are integrating your API secret and API key, your API, let me, let me not confuse newbies. Even though you're integrating your, your system to DS via API, that API is not empowered to be able to withdraw from your account. So you are not in harm's way at all. All right? John, as someone said, this BAM, this is BAM. Please, I need video for those I would like to invite, please. Yeah, this, this video will be uploaded tonight. So if you, are, um, if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you will get a notification once this video is uploaded. If you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly go to my YouTube and subscribe. Just go to YouTube on the search box, type Danish247. My channel will come, just subscribe, so that once I upload videos, you will get a notification. Prosper said, can someone who originally registered as an associate change to client? Yes, send an email to support, support at tradex.co. Uh, okay, some of you will be wondering what is the name of this site. Let me go. Let me show you the site actually, so that some of you that want to uh, go and read it up, do your own personal research, and what have you. Uh, so this is the site. All right, Tradex. Dot co traders is spelled t-r-a-h-d-e-x dot co you can go there read about them 
And then once you decide to come on board, contact the person who referred you to this particular webinar and he will tell you what to do. Um, just for your information, I, advise, I strongly advise you open this site with Google Chrome so that the, uh, Google Chrome automatically translates it from Spanish to English, all right? Uh, open with Google Chrome. Just in case you, you open in Google Chrome and it is still not translating to English, what you need to do, just mouse on, mouse on language and click on IN and it will translate to English, all right? So this is the site. You can go here and read it up and then decide to come on board. All right, so let me take more questions. Wow, I have lots of questions here. Okay, can someone who originally uh, registered as an associate change to client? Yes, send a message to support at 3days.co. Secondly, can I place someone on my client and really? No, you cannot. Your client is not in any way captured in your organization because they're not paying monthly. They're not paying the $90 monthly, so they're not in any way in your organization. So ensure to um, sell the vision to your prospect. Let them come on board as associate so that they can actually run with our vision of Black Diamond in 30 days, where they are earning about $4,000 in 30 days. It's possible. Sell the vision to them, and a lot of them will come on board. Okay? Alalekon says, Oga Presido, this is superb, sir. Thanks for your mentorship. I hope this seminar will be a weekly basis to educate our new prospects that we want to learn before sign up. Okay, I'll see about that. Thank you for the kind words. Uchena says, please, can you list all of this in a mail? We can't get all verbally. We need three things so we can show you. Okay, don't worry, you get this video. I think the video will do more justice than an email, all right? You get the video to be uploaded tonight. Just subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get it. Victor said, please, sir, I want to know if they have included Binance or still be threatening. They have included Binance, but I don't know if it is working. But on the API um, um, integration uh, field, the Binance is there. But I don't know if it is working yet. But Bitress is working, that I know. But Binance, before the end of this week, Binance also will be working. It may be working as I speak, but I don't have an authoritative word on that, so I cannot tell you yes. Can one start Dapsin? He says, can one start with client package and later upgrade to associate stage? Yes, you can, but you'll be paying more. Imagine paying $55 or $53 for a, client, for a client, and then you want to upgrade, you now start paying another $143. That means you have paid more than $143. So if you can, just do a $143 and come in once and for all. Isreg says, Dan, thanks for this mind-blowing exposition. I want to go for the client for now, but can I switch to associates anytime I wish? Yes, you can. Comrade Edmond, wow. How are you, my man? Said, this is great, Mr. President. You're welcome, sir. Gabriel Kolo said, what happens when the experts trade with the amount far above what I have in my account? How on earth is that possible? There is, not, there is no reason why they would trade with an amount more than what is in your account. Don't worry about that. Don't go into technicalities, right? The reason why we are doing this particular program is because we don't want to go into technicalities. We want the experts to worry about that. So don't worry about technicalities because if I start to go into technicalities, I'm going to make it look complicated to my newbies who are on this call. And this is not complicated at all because you do not need to know the complicated part. The, compli the complicated part will be handled by the traders. It's not your business, it's not my business, our business is just to make money, all right? So please, don't worry about that. Uche, now don't worry, you'll get this video. He's asking me to list all of this verbally. <laughs> okay. Christopher Aguirre says, good evening, Dan, please. 
Okay. Please, what are the name of that trade? Okay, tradex.co. I think you asked this question before I showed you. If you register a client, will you be paid? You'll be paid $25. All right, but you will not be paid monthly on them. They won't be in your organization. You will not be paid every month if you register a client. That is, says, what is the max you can have in your account as trading capital? Nice question, $10,000. That's the maximum you can have, $10,000. So when I did, uh, uh, when I had my session with my uh, inner circle members earlier on today, one person raised, one person raised uh, uh, what, what would I call it now? Like a concern. What if I want, I want to trade with more than $10,000? I'm like, that's not an issue. Remember, you, you still have Siri. The moment you make money from here, you can also register with Siri. If you don't know what Siri is, don't worry about it. Just do this one. When it's time, you will know about Siri. You can also do Siri, and then some of the money that um, TradeX will not take from you to trade for you, you can put it in Siri. And some of the money that, you know, that Siri will not also take from you, you can put it in a long-term crypto. So if you have $10,000 in Siri, $10,000 in uh, uh, TradeX, that is $20,000 trading for you automatically. The other money, you can put it in a long-term crypto and just leave it to sit there, all right? So that is what we can actually do. Yeah, how, how does the Miro account determine how much is placed on each coin to be bought for me? They do it with, there's a ratio they use, there's a percentage. So they spread, uh, for instance, if their own account, if they have, $10,000 in their own account. And they say, okay, we are, going to, we are not going to put more than 10% of the money in any one coin. So 10% of their $10,000 is $1,000. You, you have $500 in your account. 10% of $500 will be $50, all right? So that way, the, 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 the ratio just works for every account, irrespective of how much, how much you have in that account, all right? I hope that's clear, Dari. Another one says, can we pay by Naira also, or is it only by BTC? Yes, you can pay. You, well, can you pay by Naira? Yes and no. What you do, if you want to pay by Naira, you can contact me. I'll give you a company account. You pay Naira to the account, and then I can pay for you. Now, let me say this. Thank you, Alalika, for reminding me. You are not paying. Your registration is not in Bitcoin. It's in Bitcoin Cash. I raised it up with them that, hey, we are more familiar with Bitcoin who better off want to pay with Bitcoin. And I said, the reason they are doing Bitcoin cash is that the transaction charges are far, far, far lower than Bitcoin, all right? So they actually consider us in saying, uh, we're trying to be in Bitcoin cash because Bitcoin cash is a better uh, payment system, all right, than Bitcoin. So what you do is this, you send your Bitcoin from your exchange to Binance, buy Bitcoin cash on Binance, and then from Binance, you can send the Bitcoin cash to Tradex. So when you register, they're going to give you the Bitcoin cash address and the Bitcoin cash quantity, all right? So what you do is copy that Bitcoin cash address and put it in Binance, and then copy the Bitcoin cash quantity that is on your account, put it in Binance, and then you send, all right? So it's either you do that or you just pay Naira to, to me and then I will fund for you. So you pay Naira to me, you WhatsApp or email me your Bitcoin, the Bitcoin cash address of Tradex that is in your dashboard and the Bitcoin uh, cash quantity. You send these two details to me and then I can fund you. That's not a problem. All right? Well, let me see. Do I have a question? They have not tackled. One more says, hi, I'm late. Okay, it's recorded, you can watch it later. Olalika says, thanks sir. How and where do we cash out from this company? Okay, um, what you do is this. You create a Bitcoin cash wallet. There are free wallets you can download actually from your app store. I think one of the wallets you can download is free wallet. Free wallet is a Bitcoin cash wallet. Yeah, free wallet, I can see it. 
free wallet is a Bitcoin cash wallet, all right? You download it on your phone, then you, you get your Bitcoin cash address from your, from your wallet, and then, let me show you something. Let me log in back. And then in your, in your dashboard, in your dashboard, you put your Bitcoin cash address in your TradeX dashboard. Now, you don't need to withdraw any money. Every Friday by 4 p.m., the money automatically go. The money, the money you've earned in commission automatically goes from your TradeX back office to your Bitcoin Cash wallet. You don't need to you don't need to log in to withdraw. No, it automatically just goes there. Every Friday, the money the money you've made during the week will go to your wallet. All right, that's the way it works. And of course, the money in your exchange is your money. You can withdraw it anytime you like. All right, that one you have full access to it. What we're talking about is the commissions you make, which is in your TradeX well, uh, dashboard. On every Friday, the money just automatically goes to your Bitcoin Cash um, wallet, all right? And I've told you how to get a Bitcoin Cash wallet. Just go to your Play Store and search for free wallet and download that wallet. That's a very good Bitcoin Cash wallet. Get your Bitcoin Cash address from there. Log into your Trace account when you register and put in your Bitcoin Cash address inside your traders. Once you put in there, that is where your money will be going every Friday. Okay. Christopher, Christopher Aguirre said, Dan, you have not answered my question. And what might that be? Can you ask the question again? Okay, I think I, 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 I jumped that question. Your question is a, is a question that I've handled in the leadership. You are part of my inner circle. So probably you did not attend the meeting I had with you guys earlier today. And that's why you're asking that question. So what you should do is go back to the, to the group, all right? To the inner circle group, go back there. The video recording of the meeting I had earlier today with my inner circle guys is on that group. Please watch that video and the answer to your question is right on that video, all right? So I probably jumped your question because your question is not for this particular class. All right, so guys, that's all the question I have tonight. I believe I've done justice to all of them. Comment Edmund says, Mr. President, can you help to handle registration of newbies? Of course, uh, yes, I, I can handle registration of newbies. Just send me a WhatsApp, all right? Once you register, send me your Bitcoin Cash address, send me the Bitcoin Cash quantity that is in your dashboard and send the Naira to my account. I'll buy Bitcoin and Convert to Bitcoin Cash and register for you. That's not a big deal, right? So, guys, go back to whoever referred you to this call and register with them. Now, another thing you benefit when you register with traders is automatically you become a member of my Inner Circle class, uh, the Danewa Mastermind Group. You automatically become a member of that group. And as a member of that group, here are the benefits you get. You get long-term crypto recommendations all right there are cryptocurrencies that if you hold by december we are sure of about two thousand to three thousand percent profit all right so you will get those recommendations i already gave one all right but i don't give these recommendations in public anymore i've re-strategized i'm no longer doing free consulting anymore so i have my inner circle guys who i am hundred percent committed to so I already gave one recommendation that we have already positioned in, all right? And this recommendation is set to do amazingly well starting from next month, all right? So you get access to long-term crypto recommendations, cryptocurrencies that you can buy and hold for the long term for amazing profit. You get that. You also get ICO recommendation as, as soon as the market bounces back, you know, from the beer market. We we'll also give ICO recommendations. You get that. You also get financial education. If you like what you heard tonight, you, you'll get that every now and then if you're a member of the Danewa Mastermind. And of course, my mentorship. You get my mentorship, ability to reach out to me at any time and get help. And of course, being part of an amazing organization. Now, imagine you have 80 people, 100 people in a group. These are 80 like minds, not people coming from different backgrounds with all kinds of baggage. These are people that have gone through the same financial education class as you. They think alike. And then you are in a group with such people.
Can you imagine the kind of relationship you can forge in an environment like that? So I have to sift this because when you have, a, when you have Tom, Dick, and Harry in a group, you have all kinds of people, you know, but you have in this group people who have gone through mentorship, gone through financial education, uh, and are actually thinking like wealthy and rich people, all right? So you also have access to that. This inner circle group is supposed to be paid. But as a, as a member of TradeX, if you come on board TradeX, you automatically get my mentorship, my, my inner circle mentorship for free, all right? So that is a bonus right there for you. So thank you so, so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with, hanging out with me for these two hours. I'm so grateful. And then I'll see you. Remember to get back to whoever brought you on this call and tell them you want to sign up to TradeX and they will guide you. If I was the one that got you here, you reach out to me. You know, already know how to reach out to me if I was the one that got you here. All right? But by all means, go and sure you go back to the person that referred you here. We are all working as a team. You will also be added to the same uh, uh, mastermind group. All right? You don't need to register through me to be in my mastermind group. If you register through anybody that is already on my mastermind group, you will be added to that group. So please don't cut corners. Don't come to me if somebody else referred you. That would be an unfair thing to do. And I will see you as a very dishonest person. So by all means, ensure you go back to the person who brought you here. If that person did not tell you about this particular webinar, chances are that you would not have come. All right? Chances are that you would not have come. So by all means, go back to that person and let us work together as one family. Thank you so much and God bless you. Good night. Bye-bye.